Battle of the Barns 2020, episode three. Of course, I'm Jake Hugh alongside Commissioner Cox. Commissioner, after a historic last episode, a lot of stuff went down, especially between the Voodoo Queen Amara and Sky Smithson. Although Amara did get the victory, Sky Smithson's foot was on the bottom rope, you cannot deny that. But, you know what we like to do at World War Wrestling on each and every show? We like to celebrate a little birthday, don't we? We do, and we haven't had one so far this season, so... We haven't, and at the time of filming this, it is one of our very own members of the roster's birthday here today. It, should we just bring him out? Should we just bring him out? Without further ado, let's introduce the birthday boy for today. He is the world's okay as wrestler. It's Ali Okay. I mean, I'm back there getting ready for my match, and I hear it's Ali O'Kay's OK birthday again, and alarm bells start ringing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But, 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 but last year, last year, you had a really unfortunate tete a tete with a certain wrestler who's not here tonight. That was Danny Blaze. Oh, of course it, it was Danny, Danny Blaze. Who else? I mean, oh, come, on. come on. Who else would do that to someone? Come and ruin their birthday right in front of. Everyone now audience. I hope that's the reason he's not here. I hope you banned him from the war zone. But wait I'm not having him come in and cake me again, mate. But we don't. Oh, 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 chocolate oh. caterpillar cake for but three we days. Wanted, we there. wanted to make it up to you. I know it's COVID. It was a tasty. I know there's a pandemic going on. Yeah. Everyone's getting in good shape, and you're looking in the most. And, and it was a tasty. Actually, I've lost a little bit of weight. I can do with some cake. Well, it's, it's bulking season. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> it's, you never guess what? Say that, Just wait there. Yeah. Don't move. No, I'll be right back. No, 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 no. Honestly, no. honestly, look at this, Ali. We're gonna do it right. right this time. Forget about everything that's happened in the past. Are we singing? We've only got it. Are we singing? Are we, singing? we can sing if you want. Everyone at everyone at home joining. Everyone in as well. at home joining. So, the words will be on the bottom of the screen. Yes. So on three. Maybe we should do it after three. Are you ready? So one, two, three. <laughs> Folks, just as we were about to sing happy birthday to Ali OK. The celebrations have been interrupted. They were last time they could just said, here we go again. Really? God, it's these guys again. Just let the bloke have a burn. Oh, relax, 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 relax. Did you come to see Happy Birthday? I did. Oh, as a matter of fact, That's we good. did. As a matter of fact, really? Yeah, because yeah, really, yeah, really, really, yeah. Because look, you only turned fifty once, buddy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you only turned fifty once. So everybody, we're going to have a right. big cheer. All right, and we're going to sing happy birthday to the OK East Grandpa in the uh, World War Wrestling. Now, sadly, OK. Okay. Everybody ready? Sing along at home. Ready? Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Fair enough. Showing a bit of class. Happy That's, you know, fucking always change. Especially after the last time we saw him. Spoke too soon. That's un that's that's unfortunate. Typical. Just typical, really. A waste of good cake. But again, history repeats itself. Just crying out loud. Ali doesn't look okay, bless him. He does not look okay. Oh, wait, what? 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 Right, I'm off. We've done this before. I've seen this movie. I'm not doing it again. I'll be back. Please, 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 please do that. Please do. Ready for the best commentary in World of Wrestling that's ever, ever heard. So, I was, as I would usually say, folks, welcome to Battle of the Barns 2020, episode three with the masked man on his spring, but 
Nick Halloway has, has been asked to uh, to leave the booth, and I've now been joined by by Taylor Essex, one half of uh, of the Rebellion, longest reigning World of Wrestling Tag Team Champions as well. Could, just add that on there. could also say the shortest reigning too. I'm glass half full kind of guy. Okay, okay. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Just look at this. Look, this guy's embarrassing. He's old. He's I mean, a has been. Jack is big. Jack is destroying him. He's giving him a, it's a birthday present. This is nothing but a birthday present. He's giving him a little bit, a little bit of hope before he ends oh. it. You say he's that. fine. Ali, okay, flying out of the gates in this one. A couple of days away from Ali's birthday, and then yeah, you guys came out and tried to ruin it for him. Well, you know what I'm saying. Like he was getting to. No, for now. He's still got it for now. He never, he never lost it. He never lost it. He never had it. He never had it. Look at the state of him. Oh. European uppercut from the world's okayest wrestler. I wouldn't even say okay. Yeah. No. No. Three. Look, he's cheating. Look, keep it in the ring. Keep it clean. What is he doing? He's a disgrace. Ali OK up the top, <laughs> flies in with a cross body but that, Nothing but power, absolute power. Jack Torino, deceptively Jack powerful. Jack Torino, he's a unit. The guy's built like a mini fridge, he's huge. Boom, ball away, slam from the drifter. <laughs> Easy, I told you, that beginning bit was nothing. A little present, giving a tiny bit of hope. Before plucking it away as it seems. So Jack Torino is deceptively powerful. He won't have the height advantage on, on most people, but like you said, he is, he is a bit of a unit. He's a unit. Nice. Huge clothesline in that corner. And a snap suplex to boot. But Taylor, you guys, you guys, next week you have the tag title defense, your first defense against Joe Lando and at the moment, at the moment, an unknown opponent. What are your thoughts on, on that one next week? It's ridiculous. You saw the hit set the other week. They were allowed out. Roth was allowed to just be there, ringside for Kieran. Yeah? Give him a little, you know, bit of support. Where was Jack? He was banned backstage. Favoritism in this place is ridiculous. And yet we still come out on top. We still won the tag team championships. So yeah, am I right about Joe Lando? No, I'm not right about Joe Lando. I beat him on the I beat him on the first show, the first match, easily beat I mean, him I mean, the, by myself. That was no that, help at all. I mean, all Jack, by myself. Jack Torino did come out. And he did introduce one of those uh, one of those tag team titles. The tag team titles that we earned. Why have them if we can't use them? I mean, it's an illegal object in a in a, in a match. They're there, they're there to, to crown you as champions, not to be a weapon. High class is you know smart tactics. Look at this! Look, destroying the old man, and on his birthday too. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. I do. Go on. Yeah. Oh, throat first into that second, <laughs> second rope. No more happy birthday singing for him. You're right, Taylor. I'm doing great. Well done, mate. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you should have retired years ago, mate. Oh. Go on. One, two. Kick out, a, kick out a one almost from Ali OK. So you say, I think there's life in the old dog. Yeah, Taylor, I mean, this is a guy that's been around for a while. He's won championships up and down the country. I, th I think you two can learn a thing or has, two from that. Has he ever beat Torino? I mean, no. not, not, in, not in World War Wrestling. Not anywhere, never. Has he, has he, uh, has he ever lost to Torino? Again, I don't know. Look, you're the one doing the research here. I'm the wrestler, you're the commentator. Where, where's your facts? Hmm? I mean, to be honest, I, I wasn't expecting this match. We're, we're kind of running off, off beast on the run sheet right now. See, if he was as good as he says he is, he'd be ready for anything all the time, like we are. I, I had written down, I had written down, Ali OK birthday Reach celebrations, but that, that, that little party This was, is going to turn into Ali OK's wake. <laughs> See him tapping. She just can't hack it anymore. Torino really in control, and this one, I hate to, uh, hate to say it, but yeah, he's got the game strategy down right now. Of course he does, look at it. Oh, what, 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 do, what do you guys have against Alec? I mean, we, we, were, we were fine having a birthday celebration for the guy. Why come out of room? The man's a joke. He's old. He's taking spotlight away from us. Hello, Jack. He's abiding by the rules. He's doing everything right. 
Yeah. Now, what if Joe no. Lando were to pick Ali Okay as his tag partner? What, Joe, what would your Joe thoughts would be? Joe would be making a massive mistake. To be fair, Joe's making a massive mistake by accepting the match in the first place. He can pick Ali Okay, he can pick anyone. I don't care, we're winning. He tapped. Is that, not, is that not a tap? Hmm? This ref doesn't know what he's doing. Thing was that you can't really tap to, uh, to an illegal choke. Oh, hung out to dry. Basement dropkick off the jaw of the world's okayest wrestler. There, there, Ali. There, there. Good. Classy. Oh! Oh, two and nine tenths. I thought Ali, I thought Ali was, was not okay for a second, but he's back in this one. He's up to his feet. Oh, look at that. Just bull rushing. Torino into the corner, a couple of shoulder strikes right into the midsection. It's one way to drive the air out of the lungs of the drifter. Oh, and there we go. Is that back, back oh, to oh, how it should be. Oh, there we go. Tarantula hole. Tarantula There we go, hole. come on. Tap out. Go on. Again, he can't tap out when he's in the ropes. But has the damage been done? Hally OK is just a heap in the middle of the ring. Torino just... Swaggering okay, around the uh, the apron right now. Huh? Oh yeah. Are you okay? Springs up. Oh! Slingshot European uppercut. <laughs> look at that. Look. Could have easily beat him right there, but he's taking his time. Oh, shit! A bit of a cocky pin attempt there, though. Had the leg hook, but no weight going down over the shoulders. Yeah. Do you, do you agree with this uh, yeah. with this pace being set by Trina right now? Is this, is this what you'd be doing in there? Trina's doing exactly our game plan for every match. Just be in control of the match the whole time and make sure your opponent knows that who is the dominant person in the match. Now front face lock. Keeping the, uh, keeping the OK one down on the map. Oh, he, it, but you have no idea how much this is bugging me. Come on. Hey, no one asked you to be here. Who asked you to be here? Hmm? I mean, yeah, exactly. Commissioner Cox, really, to be honest. You see, we, we, do, we do what we want. We're the tag team champions, longest reigning tag team champions, first ever tag team champions. When will you learn? Oh, wait, Ali OK reverses out. Oh, net breaker. Cheap shot, attacking him from behind. Oh. That was a net breaker. From behind. One, two. No. Oh. How do you hit the neck breaker from in front? He's cheap. He's clearly like, he pulled his hair. He's been unsportsman. Like, Jack has done nothing wrong in this match. Apart from slamming his face into his birthday cake. <laughs> that birthday cake is disgusting anyway. Who even likes cheesecake? I do. No, cheesecake is disgusting. And Ali OK fighting back. Look at the fire. Yeah. In Ali OK right now. There we go. And Torino. Cat like agility. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, Ali's no. caught him. Oh, oh, dumped off of that top rope. He's fine. He's got this. Come on. Come on, Jack. Ali OK starting to get some life back. Starting to uh, regain some control in this match. Big corner splash. Irish whip. Oh, reverse from Torino. Ali OK sent in hard to the top. Oh, oh, oh. Took out the feet as he was coming in. and. Oh, wait, wait, Ali's calling for it. The oldest, it the oldest 619 you've seen. Oh, oh. straight off the nose no. of Torino. Oh. But can Ali OK capitalise? Has, has Torino done too Is much damage? Oh. He cares too much about what people think. He should have just jumped on it straight away. To be fair, there, there is a pin attempt right there. Oh. You're going to need a knee replacement at the end of this, mate. Ali OK up to the top rope. He's looking to fly. Oh. Crash and burn, either way. Oh, oh! Elbow drop from the heaven straight to the heart of Jack Serena. Come on, Jack. Kick out, kick out, One, kick out. Come on. Two! Oh, oh. Kick out at two. You're looking quite worried there, Taylor. Yeah, I'm not worried. No? No, not at all. He's, 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 he's got this. He's got this. I'm sure he's got this. I hope he's got this. How is that not free kick? He got the shoulder up, right, Ali. That's easy two. He did get the shoulder up. He's trying to cheat. Both men back up. And Ali OK. Looking to scoop Sam. Torino says no, he shuts the door. 
And now looking for a German suplex. Reversal on that waist lock. Yeah, Ali OK unable to overpower Drill. Oh, Ali OK drops down. There we are. To the wheelbarrow, back to his feet though. Oh. The, he muscled him up. Oh, oh my goodness. Come on, one, one two, go. Oh, kick out at two. See, the referee got down quicker. Game. And now you're blaming the referee. Yes. Not the fact that that was clearly just a two count. You'll Look, if Jack, Jack Torino could end this match whenever he wanted, he's happy playing <gasps> with the old man for now. He just beats him easily. Yeah. Well, that Tiger Suplex only getting a two count. Oh! oh. <laughs> just straight up disrespect. Oh, Torino's, Torino's looking to climb them turnbuckles, folks. Ali OK hasn't moved. No water in the pool. No water in the pool for Torino. Ali OK out at the last moment. I see what double underhooks. Hooks him up. Oh, face first into the mat. Now come on, Jack. Don't kick out. One, two, oh. Again, that was close. That's the closest Ali OK has come to winning this match. Oh, oh. Still not worried? No, not at all. We're yeah? Right. No, it's fine. Just imagine what it would be for Ali OK for a victory this close to his birthday. And I mean, Taylor, let's face it. If you guys want to continue looking strong for the, uh, for the tag belts, Torino needs to be getting the victory right now. He's looking vulnerable, if you ask me. What's he doing? Catch his catch can. Here you go. Greco Roman knuckle lock into the wrist control. Leapfrog's over, beckons him in, offers him the leg, turns uh, around, quick roll up, running rings out in one, two. Let's <laughs> pick him up. Northern, Northern, Northern lights. lights. Northern lights. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. Come on, Jack, keep it nips. He's holding on to him, he's holding on to him. Oh, looking for the OK no, flex. No, no, no. Looking for the OK yes! flex. Oh. Nails it. One, two. Oh, foot on the ropes, oh. and unlike last week Ooh. with Sky Smithson and Amara, oh, this ref the ref dare he oh, caught us that. Oh. Well, he dared oh. crossing Sky Smithson last week, but that, again, this is it. He's got saving energy. He could have kicked out if he wanted to. No, no, no. Admittedly, that is a, that's a smart thing to do. Conserve energy because right now it looks like he needs it. Ali, okay, the first one back to his feet. Out. Come on, Jack. Head in the game, mate. Come on. There we oh, go. Spear. Go. Spear out of mid air. Spear Come out on. of mid air. One, two, two. Oh. Ali OK with a shoulder up now. The pendulum of momentum swinging back and forth in this one. All right, the old man's got some fight. I give it that. But it's oh. Tombstone. Leaping tombstone. Two, three. But there we go, like I said. The old man had some fight, but Jack took it out of him. Ali. Oh, that was fun. Okay. That, was, that, was, that was a close match. Come on, yeah. Man. I mean. Thank you, mate. You did great, mate. Yeah. Thank you. I'll well, leave you to it. You can have the other idiot back now. Oh, thank you very much. So, folks, there we have a victory for Jack Torino. And another, another heartbreak loss for Ali OK on his birthday celebrations. Yeah! And the rebellion continued to look strong here at World War. Ah, it's good. Anyone bring water? Shut up, man. Oh. Medic! Water. Medic! Water. He needs a medic! Oh, I don't hear fucking great. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, always oh, hope. See you again. Should we see you again? Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ali. Happy birthday to you. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs>
Okay, all right. So, Nick, it wasn't the birthday we're expecting Nally OK to have once again. And of course, you were back off the commentary table. Yeah. Not the first time it's happened at the Battle of the Barns, is it, my friend? No, but I've got to keep my jaw this time. I've seen that movie. I'm not doing it again. No. Nice t shirt, by the way. Thanks, man. I'll better go back and do what you paid to do now. Great job, as always. Thanks very much, Nick. And uh, just before we carry on with tonight's action, it's, of course, our flashback of the week. And we don't always tell fairy stories in World War Wrestling, but this is a fairy story of its own. And it involves Rocco Casanova, our very own Laura, who was original World War Wrestling commentator, and of course, fresh off of NXT UK, it's Playboy Lewis Howley. What's, how did it all happen? How did it all end? Well, I'll tell you what, let's take it away and show you what happened. Let's roll the footage. Start this grim fairy tale from the end. Let's take you back to World War Wrestling 3 to see where the Rocco Casanova story started. Oh, 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 and last week, a promoter phoned me and he told me that on October the 17th in Gillingham, World War Free is coming! No! So I cancelled my flight back to Italy, just in case it got shot down from the sky. I took my beautiful dog, Silvio, and my idiot cousin, Paolo, Ciao. to this park so that I could set up my own training camp. You see, I'm not just the sexiest, I'm the smartest man that ever lived. And when on October the 17th, World War III will end, and all the British men will die, I will be the one to survive and console all their widows. So now sit back and enjoy how sexy I make survival look. Hello. Più forte! Strong! Più forte! Yeah! Yeah! No, no. Più piano! Più piano! No! Più piano! No, più piano! Più piano! Stop! That was the beginning. Let's see what happened to his first live appearance. He was really checking you out there, Dan. My, well, have you seen me? <laughs> That's all the mums in the audience. To come to the ring He's right talking to me. Now. Me. Please no. help but, you. Oh. Oh my oh. goodness. He's like, oh, unlucky, what? Dan. Come unlucky. Huh? Yeah. You, you choose her over me? What does he want? Well, you, oh, maybe he wants something that looks better than a reflection. Or worse. Dan! Come on the ring! Guy's got no taste Open if it choose her room. over me, let me just say that. Easy does it. She might twist her ankle. Come here, sweetheart. I'm gonna give you the experience. Let's see if you choose her over me. Shep! I'm doing business here! Shep! It'll probably be her first. She's had quite a sheltered life. Shep! Come here, sweetheart, 
I said, come here. Well, you're never going to do any better than that, come so you here. might as well. Despite the fact he doesn't Hello. know what he's... What's your name? You know my name. You just called me out. Laura. Laura, or whatever your name is. Exactly. He can't remember. No. I'm going to no give can remember you the name. experience of a lifetime. You are going to rub baby oil all over me. Yeah! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! What is she? is not a wrestler. That's right, you show her! You show her! You show her! No, 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 do, do it, do it! Before someone... Now at this point, a normal man would have left. No, not Rocco. Brett the Craft Meadows made the save and taught Rocco a lesson. In Napoli, where love is king. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me not. She loves me not. I'm Rocco Casanova. I'm the sexiest man that ever lived. Of course she loves me. Since the first day I saw you, that we were destined to be the most beautiful couple in the universe! When you slapped me, Laura, I knew you were just playing hard to get. So I got a little bit rough. Because I know that you like it. <laughs> I want to prove to you, Laura, that I am the tough and rough man you want so badly. Where are you going? On February the 27th, in stone and burnt for World War Wrestling, I will lay the first ever Rocco Casanova. Open challenge. And I want you, Laura, to take the best seat in the house at Dreamside and watch closely my triumph. And then we can consummate our love. Yeah. <laughs> So Laura said she wouldn't be appearing at Battle of the Barns. Then some images and some messages started appearing online. Anyway, let's show you them and let's show you what happened at that show. I see a man who I want to be when I grow up. That's who I see when I look at Rocco Casanova. I mean, this guy had no choice but to be handsome. His name is Rocco Casanova. This guy was literally born into handsome, okay? Look at that man. Look at that feast of a man, that animal of a man. Arr. Oh, look at the wives throwing themselves at him. Look at the husbands holding their wives back. Look. Come on, Laura. Yeah, I told you. Laura She's was the one backstage. Shy. Come on, Laura. I Don't told you. Don't make me come and get you. Here she comes. Here's good. We're going to get Laura. Here Laura's going to propose. Go. And he's going to ditch her. Come on, Laura. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Because, you know, he's come got on. class Let's and go. taste. Let's go. Oh, clearly. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Don't be shy. Come on, you've done this before. You've been in a wrestling ring. Come on, let's go. You ready? Yeah. One, two, deep breath, deep breath. Three. He's, he's yeah. What is he doing? Say hi, Laura. Oh, good God. I want wrestling fans. Yeah, I'm that's Laura. not Laura, Dan. That is Laura. That's God, not Laura, tell. Dan. She's Laura. Listen to that charisma. That is not Laura, Dan. That's totally Laura. Oh, yeah. Never want to come back. Laura. 
So now... Oh! Oh dear. Rocco! Here comes Coxie. He doesn't normally come out unless he's angry. Let's get one thing. No, then. no he's That's making it with Laura! Laura. That's not Laura. Again. Laura has clutch. That sounds like Laura. Oh no. Oh. oh. That's definitely not Laura, Dan. Oh god, he. Oh. It's a challenge! Oh, it's in the open challenge! British oh, nice knowing you, Rocco. Is the dominator. Good luck, Rocco. But that's definitely not Laura Dan. Oh, what gives it away? The beard? The giant spikes on the shoulders? Oh. Okay, that was a thud. He couldn't jump high enough, or far enough, rather. Well, you know what? If he hasn't run into a height, Dominator will help. So you would have thought Rocco would have learned his lesson. Nope. World well, Wrestling 4. Here we come. Red Meadows, you will not stop my love. You will not stop me and Laura. So if you have the grapefruits, if you have the meatballs, come out here and wrestle me once again. Because this time, Rocco Casanova is ready, baby. He's calling out Kraft. He's calling out Brett the Kraft Meadows. A big power slam there from Rocco Casanova. And Casanova signaling that that's it now. What's he going to do, Dan? I dread to think. Oh! That's a whole lot of posterior that was Laura coming down. On the apron. He's got her again. Well, she really shouldn't be up on that apron, in all fairness, you know. I understand. The cross behind him. I understand the motions are high, but. He's going oh, up, Dan. Look at the strength again over the shoulder. We saw this last time. There's Essex the Essex bomb. bomb. This is it. One, One two, two, and three. three. Rocco has the mic. Laura, this is the last time you get in my way. At the next show, me versus you, Laura. And if you lose, you left. To marry me! Yeah! Did, did that just happen, Dan? Yeah. He called yeah. her into a match, and if she if she loses, she has to marry him? Yeah. I think and it's I the think only really way he'll get in a ring with a woman, Dan. The only, yeah, I really do think that. This really, he has really some misguided me. idea of to just you and I what he is, let yeah. alone what he looks like. And this is not something I want to have to do. We have rules here at World War Wrestling. You've brought yourself into the war zone. So I'm very sorry, Laura. You will face Rocco at World War Wrestling 5. Oh. My. God. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, one more thing. Commissioner, may I ask, when Laura faces, um, the blob, um, is, uh, is, uh, I think maybe a special referee, maybe Brett the Craft Meadows might be a good idea. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Tell Coxie. Okay, so Casanova's was asked for a match. That is also within my power, and I see no reason why we shouldn't have a guest referee. Rocco, I give you your match, but your referee will be Brett the Craft Meadow. Well, World of Wrestling 5. Laura must face Rocco. Only in wrestling, right? Lovable personalities. World War Wrestling commentator. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Laura! Laura! Look up his face. Rocco. Shh, shh. Real man. Yeah. I want to give you the opportunity to not get hurt, okay? 
I love you, Laura. And you love me too. I so doubt get it. Down on your knees and beg for forgiveness right now. And ask to marry me. Because otherwise, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna beat you up. And you're gonna be all bruised when I marry you. I don't think she's gonna beg right now. Clearly deluded. Nothing has changed. She doesn't want to marry you. She agreed to this match. What is this? <laughs> Didn't bank on that, did you, Rocco? Beautiful. Wait a minute, that was a beautiful slap. She slapped him in the face. The second time. The actual face. I swear oh, she's enjoying God. it. Oh she my is. God. She enjoyed Oh, that's it. No. What's the matter, Dan? She well, kicked out. What's the matter? the slowest count that I have potentially ever seen. It wasn't a slow count. Wait a minute. She struck him. Right in the midsection. Come on, Laura. Beautiful. Beautiful. No. She doesn't have to marry him. No. no. Beautiful. No. no. Ladies and gentlemen, ha. your winner. What were you Laura. saying, Dan? She's going to end up marrying him. She I want a proper match. This. This is a joke. You set me up. This is not fair. I am. I am. One fair and square. No. It's been you all along! You stupid woman! I gotta make you pay! Hang on. Hang on a minute. What is going on here? I want a real match! Yeah, ref, come on! And give me a real opponent! I'm tired of this! Well, we've got a referee. And he's lost another one no. to the camera guy. No, not that guy. Not uh, that camera guy. guy. Camera guy. Camera guy. Yeah, do you know what? You're on the wrong side of the barriers. Go sit in the audience and chant there. You got Don't your try match. and say that this is and right. It was a fair count on both in World War Wrestling. He your won the match. Is he got camera guy. This is in the space of two minutes. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Good. Hashtag Team Laura. No one could have predicted what happened next. Champions of War 1. Rocco Casanova versus the Playboy, Lewis Howley. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he said he was going to be here, and we were right. He is the Italian Stallion. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's, he looks so miserable. I mean, he has every right to after his behaviour recently, but I've never seen him like this. No, I've never, I've never seen anyone worried about him. It's, but someone needs to get him a, a, a box of citalopram or something because this is, this isn't right. This is surreal, Dan. And usually the crowd. It, he needs what's going on? I don't know, man. I mean, someone get him he a mirror so he can realise how amazing he looks. He wants to speak. I want to be him when I grow up. I tell you now. Forget the fact that he's young, uh, younger than me. When I grow up, I want to be him. I don't. Un what? Hey. You're a beautiful man, Rocco. Don't let anybody tell you differently. He's clearly dealing with some mental health issues here. He is beautiful, though, isn't he? You know, let's, let's all tell him. He looks like a broken man. You're a beautiful man, Rocco! Why are they wanting Laura? She's not even here. Of course she's not here. It's a wrestling so, show. I'll go to Climax and Culture when I see Laura. 
I am sorry for everything I've done. What? What? Why you good a victim here? And that teached me a lesson. It teached me to treat women with respect. It's about time, Rocco. Oh, what? He's turning over a new leaf. No, what it is, is he's been putting it about a lot and they're slut I'm sorry. Right, I'm against that. For everything I've done. For everything I said. Apologize. Not just to Laura, but also to all of you. I'm sorry. I quit. So, this is wrong. We're victim blaming here. You know, We're victim blaming and he's taking it himself. This is not a funny me. issue. This well, is serious stuff. Well, maybe I've that kick to the head from Laura was hard on my thought. Been. I've been a bully. No, you Yes, haven't. you have. I didn't treat women with the respect they deserve. You treated no, women you fine. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm not. I'm not as lucky as you that had parents that teach you how to treat a woman. I had to grow up on my own. There's no excuse, you're right. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I wish you could believe me. I'm giving you my heart right now. I and want I'm to. I'm telling but you that I'm sorry. You don't have to believe me. She really must have kicked him that hard. From the deepest of my heart. The deepest of his heart. That's a, that's, that's a big heart. I think he oh, means it. This is terrible. I think he actually means it. I think we've got... I, th I, I, I think he needs an appointment with Dr. Lipschitz. It's the doctor from Rugrats. Mental health doctor. I think... I think he needs help because this is not right. No. I think he means it. You've done nothing wrong, Rocco. You've done nothing wrong. He manhandled Laura. He has treated the people in this war zone with no respect. No, no, no. He, 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 he treated Laura like an equal in a uh, wrestling match. Okay. Who would take that photo but of Laura? And why is she here? even supposed to be here. Um, she looks fabulous, by the way. But I still don't understand why she's here. She does look fabulous. What is... It's like she's got this like little twinkle in her eye all of a sudden. What is... Where does that come from? Well, clearly... And fair play to Rocco. Maybe he has changed. She, well, she, she looks stunning, Dan. She, 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 she does, and I feel a little dirty yeah, saying it. Maybe, maybe Rocco taught her a lesson too. Maybe everybody's learned something from this. I'm sorry for all the pain and hell I've been putting you through. I'm sorry. I've I can hear some people saying it's still not okay. It's, 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 yeah, I deserve a slap. I deserve it. All right, she beat me in a match. I think that's enough for, for humiliation for me. I'm sorry. He says like he's going to cry. He does sound like he's going to cry. Someone, someone I think stop. I think this is genuine. They're saying on your knees, and he's actually he's doing it. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. This isn't the same Rocco. No, what has happened here? Rocco. You have proven to me. You have proven to this entire audience I don't, uh, that you have a big heart. Yeah, it seems as though he does. Oh, wait a minute. See, she's lying. A big mouth, a big head, Whoa. and a big, fat, disgusting belly. So who comes out here to a... What's going on with no, Laura, Dan? Fat shaming, and that is not allowed. That is not you allowed. You come out here tonight in front of all these people begging for my forgiveness. Begging? Well, you ain't gonna get it. Uh, Rocco actually came... Get your repulsive, fat, filthy... Body away from me. Rocco was actually genuine. She could, where did she? Where did, where did she grow this from? 
Wait, there's a part of me that's like, it's fat shaming, I'm not okay with that. And then there's another part of me that's like, hey, Laura's got some backbone out of nowhere and I'm and I'm kind of I'm kind of digging it. Like, I, I feel so sorry for Rocco right now. He's apologised. What, what's going on with Laura? What is this about? She what's beat him. This should be enough. Oh my God, could you be any more of a cliche of a 1980s Tony Schiavone? Look, end of the day, like what's happened here is Rocco is st struggling and he's trying for an apology. But before you go, Laura I honestly thinks it's genuine. I would like to introduce you to a real man, a real a man, Rocco. Is it Brett the Craft Meadows again? He's already saved her once before. Has he instilled this in her? Because if so, Lewis? well done. Because there's something about Laura I suddenly respect. I don't think... Who's this? I like this song. So do the audience. Uh-oh. Hey, that's my girls. Be my girl. We can't have them. Oh, frigate. I've done the camps. We can do it together. Look, this isn't even about Rocco. Did you just see that, Dan? Rocco. Rocco came out here and poured his heart out. Hey, yeah, he poured his heart out, but at the end of the day, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at, listen to this music. Look at the bow tie. Look at the bow tie. That guy has a bow tie. How could she ever have resisted a man with a bow tie? Not possible. Not in 2017, my friend. We do bow ties now. Rocco didn't deserve that. Why is he still out here? He's like, look at him. He's a broken man. He came out here to apologise, and he's being treated like that. And now this. Yeah, okay. He's apologised. He's done. He's done what he came out for. So why is he still here? He looks lost. Is he, wait. He's paid. He's gone to the shops. He's bought his goods, and he's just standing there at the Real checkout. And things are now awkward. He, he's come. He's done his job. There's literally no point in him being here now. He can just leave. He looks lost. I don't think he knows what to do. Let me tell you something. It's uh, uh, this this young man who uh, Laura has brought out here. Shut up. Shut and now the crowd are showing Rocco the appropriate respect. What about? He apologised. Then he got a verbal tirade from Laura, and she does this to rub salt in the wounds. It's not rubbing salt in the wounds, right? She, she has like. finally stood up. She came out here by herself. Can I point that out? She stood up to him by herself. Going. Well, Rocco's ready for a fight. Come on, someone make this official. I don't think Rocco's going anywhere. Let me tell you something, this is a sexy couple. Oh, it's unsettling. This is the worm has definitely turned. I helped Laura train for that match. <laughs> Who is this person? Who did, did you Step ever do? Let me look, look, at, look at this young gentleman here, this fine specimen of a man as he gets into the ring. No, look, at the, look at the bod, look at the bow tie. No. I thought you wanted to be Rocco's best man not long ago. No, Rocco wanted me to be his best man. There's you a agree, difference. Dan. There wasn't a wedding. I'm talking. I know you used to come out here. I know I... Hey, don't get your bow tie in a twist, young man. You don't pay attention to them. Play my music louder than these people so I can get oiled up like everybody wants to see. Yeah. Because you all want to see me get oiled up. No one cares about a fat man. Look, exactly. I, no, I, I, dis I dislike fat people. Music. Well, I think it's safe to say that our fans have forgiven Rocco. What? 
This is... He was genuine in his apology. Oh, shut up. There's, there's some action going on in the ring, and if we're lucky, it's going to turn into some deeper action. It's making me sick. Laura makes me sick. I'm going to be going on xvideos.com and uploading this later. You sexy thing. Now where's he going? Really? <laughs> and Rocco again was, was he, Rocco was actually leaving. Rocco was actually leaving. Rocco was making it look like he's gonna he's gonna do something, and then he and then he and then he didn't, and then he didn't. And this young gentleman, Jake, 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 who who Rocco's is he? Loving Who's it. this guy? What's his name? I don't know what to call him, but Laura's man. That that is the playboy Lewis Howley. The playboy Lewis Howley. Well, Laura is howling for Lewis Howley. That much is clear. <laughs> Come on, Rocco. I believe your apology. No one deserves that. Let me tell you that. something. Look Laura's, Laura's looking so hot now that she's got this playboy and turned him into a one-woman man. Yeah. She makes me feel sick. The playboy, is it? He makes me yeah, feel Lewis sick. Yeah, Lewis Howley. Yeah, playboy. I hope Rocco tears him apart. And I guess... Not so stunning now, are oh, you, playboy? He just bounces off the belly of the... Of the Italian wannabe stallion. Come on! Come on, stallion, tear him apart. You want to be a pretty boy? Yeah, I... Come on, Howley. You're a man's man, apparently. Get back in there and face the Italian stallion. You see the look of the Italian stallion's eyes right now. That's a worrying look. The crowd now getting all over, the, all over. Laura's chosen one. I can't understand the word what this crowd is saying. I've got to be honest. I believe they were calling him Justin Bieber then. So she's got herself a, a wealthy entrepreneur. Good for her. Come on, Playboy. You want to turn up and invite? This crowd chant and little boy at uh, the Playboy. Come on, Rocco. Lewis Howley. And let me tell Come you something. On, Judging by the look on uh, Laura's face there, I don't think he is a little boy, if you know what I mean. Because that is the look of a woman who is satisfied with her life right now. Come on, Rocco. Well, Rocco definitely has the test of strength in this one. He's well, Rocco's got the weight he's advantage. Got to be the and now he's breaking him down. Doesn't look so, like such a man now on his knees begging the Italian stallion for mercy. Why would you? There's a lot of weight. There's probably like 21 stone, 22 stone, 23 stone, 24 stone. I don't know. How, however many stone, that's a lot of stone of weight on the fingers. Laura has to try and kiss those fingers better. This is a great level of focus from the Italian style. No only has he made peace, but he's fired up. The crowd are loving this. I'm loving this. How are you not enjoying this, Dan? Listen, listen. You can be fat, but it doesn't he make it... How did he catch him? How did he catch him? Clubbing blows. Yeah, why is he hitting him with fists? Go on, Rocco. They weren't fists then. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, Rocco disrespecting Lewis Howley there by turning his back on him. And the playboy throws him shoulder first into that steel post. I don't think he was distracting him that was the problem. I think it was that vile vixen, Laura. It was distracting Rocco. Uh, I couldn't see that. And right now on the outside, Lewis Mayhew. Lewis Mayhew? Lewis Howling. Edit that. Howling. Lewis Howling. Howling. Attack it. Lewis Howling. 
with that big boot kept on top of that shoulder. Another boot straight to that shoulder. And the delightful Laura. I'm seeing a new side to Laura here. A look at the look in her eyes. She is loving that she's seeing here. That is a strong, confident woman. Come on, Rocco. The mood is in. I'm pretty sure that Lewis Howley is going to be in a lot worse shape tonight. Maybe only Rocco will knock out some of those precious teeth. Lewis Howling doing a great job in his World War Wrestling debut. And let me tell you something, right? You've got to be a hell of a playboy to survive in the war zone. And, and, and that's exactly what he's doing. And you've got to be a hell of a playboy to take Laura's eyes. Because all these men that we have here in the war zone and Laura chose the playboy. Rocco Lewis fighting Howling. back. Come on, Rocco. Another boot right to that shoulder. Come on, Rocco. Show this Lewis Howley for the boy he is. Oh, right, so Not you have man. a favourite now. How unprofessional are you? <laughs> Smart move there. Tried to send him out of that corner. Rocco used his weight to advantage. So Lewis Mayer went to that shoulder. That same shoulder that Stanley has just raised Rocco up there. It's the probably not a wise. Why is he hitting him with his injured shoulder? The Wally. That is not a smart move. Grabs hold of that arm and tugs it down. And Rocco goes shoulder first. Come on, Rocco. And look at the look on Laura's eyes there. Look at the look on her face as she walks past us. How you doing? Laura doing a cracking job here. I've always liked, I always knew she had something in her. I was just trying to get her to bring it out of her, you know, and we're seeing it today as, as her man, the playboy, Lewis Howling. Howley, I'm howling for Howley. Hey, there's a new guy. I gotta, it's gonna take me some time, all right? Especially when there's Laura around at ringside. And Laura, come on, Ref, again with the ball. Now she's getting involved. What do you mean she's getting involved? Rocco got her involved in this match. So you think it's okay for her to drag him across the top rope, do you? Drag him across the top rope? How tall do you think she is? You're seeing she things, had man. Hung up she had him hung rope. up. Oh my goodness, what are you seeing here? Come on, Rocco. Howley there showboating, which is probably an advice. I wondered where my trousers went. Oh, good. Rocco not done yet. Kicks out again. You can see the frustration on Howley's face. He just can't seem to put him away. Come on, Rocco. Lewis Howley keep it on top of that arm of Rocco. Look at that face. Look at Laura's face. She's loving every minute of this. It makes me sick. Rocco back to... He's up. And oh, punches. The body. And he has to break the rules in order to get the advantage. Oh, he had to win his shoulder. What an idiot. Why? Why? Howley must have... Might as well just be it's running just, into a brick wall at this point. Well, yeah, but he's making life for himself incredibly difficult. Like, look at him raising that arm, that same arm that's been worked on. All of a sudden, he's trying to make out as if that he's, I don't know, he's able to go through the pain, but it's not going to take much for the playboy to get on top of this if he can. The playboy retreating to those ropes, showing some smarts there, despite evidently his, his young age. 
quite the cougar is young Laura. Big body slam now. And it was beautiful. I just I just want to know why he, he should be looking after that shoulder of his. I think this is about more than his shoulder down. She's humiliated. Another slam. Again, another Rocco, beautiful slam. Rocco Casanova just slamming him like he's nothing. Laura involved again. Wait, 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 the school is a terrible referee, and, and I tell you what, he what Lewis, Howell. Lewis Howling, Lewis Ladies Howling in his debut the match in the war match. zone gets the win. Lewis, the Lewis the Howling used the weight advantage of Rocco against him by folding him up like Lewis an accordion with that holding press. Lewis Howling, I knew when I saw Lewis Howling, I thought he's been watching his world of sport. I can tell, I can always tell. And he has beautiful folding press there. The weight advantage all across the neck and the shoulder, that injured shoulder that Rocco Casanova hadn't been doing a good job of taking care of. What, what a win there for the playboy Lewis Howling right here in Stone and Barnes. Can someone tell me what the hell is going on with Laura? What do you mean what's Rocker? going on with Laura? One more time, ladies and gentlemen. At the Cougar, Laura Butler. <laughs> and her playboy, Lewis Howling. What a debut victory for Lewis Howling here in the war zone. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, he came out here and he became a real man here tonight. Let's give him a round of applause. Oh, let me tell you, Commissioner Cox, that is uh, Thank you for the apology, Rocco. Uh, let me tell you something, Commissioner Cox. I, I, I think we've seen a real new star born in Lewis Howling. What? Because I'm howling for Lewis, so I'm calling you him Lewis the Howling, you see. So Lewis the, the Playboy, game. what a star. Well done bringing him into the war zone. That was all you, right? Uh, yes, that was all me. Well done, that was a great job. I'm a big fan already. And it's great to see Laura standing up for herself against this, this, this evil man here. Great to see it. Well done. We'll see you again soon, Rocco. Look at him, he's wobbling around like a weevil. Welcome everybody back to the bunker with Boo Lamont here at World Ball Wrestling Champion of War. And I have, Laura, I have known you a long time. We have worked in this business together for a while and I just want to say I'm disgusted. Hey, watch how you talk to her. If you want to talk to her, talk to her properly. Now do that again without talking to her like that. Laura, I'm shocked by your behavior. Do it again nicely. Welcome back to World Ball Wrestling Champions of War. At this time, I am joined by the debuting playboy, Lewis Howley, and someone I used to think of as a friend, Laura. Just explain yourself. Explain myself? I haven't got to explain myself. I'm sorry, who are you? We were supposed to be good friends. Who are you? We worked. I'm just, we're, you've just, your behavior has shocked, not just, the people that work with you, all the fans no, wait, at the... Hey, um, I'm done with this. I don't really know what information you want to get from her. But the fact is, I am the best looking professional wrestler in the world. So I'm certainly the best looking professional wrestler in World War Wrestling. So she did what she had to do. She's not going to spend time with a fat mess like Rocco Casanova. She's going to want to spend time with the Playboy. Just like every other girl does, the girls that you see in your dreams, but you never see in real life. Okay, does that put things in perspective? Does that answer the question you asked? Yeah. yeah, thank you for your time. Let's get back to the war zone. So you thought that's where it ended? Rocco Casanova, adored and loved by world wrestling fans. Laura, hated. You couldn't make this stuff up. But then he was gone. For months, without a trace. Until on social media, hashtag Where's Rocco started popping up. 
Then, after being away from WWW for over a year, Stone Market Slam 3, the Playboy Lewis Howley and Sammy Smooth, the Day Dancers, also known as WWE's Pretty Deadly, were in a match against the Lucha Lions. About to pick up the victory. A victory until... Until this popped up on the big screens. I am the best looking professional wrestler in the world. So I'm certainly the best looking professional wrestler in World War Wrestling. So she did what she had to do. She should not going to spend time with a fat mess like Rocco Casanova. What we're going to do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. And then nothing again for months until just watch. She's dealt with Danny Blaze in the past. Excuse me. You obviously think yourself a bit of a big man. Um, but I hate to disillusion you. I don't have a match for you. You can come here, you can insult us, you can do whatever you like. But I don't have a match on the card for you. We've got much more important things to do, like crowning our new champion. You know, you kind of pale into insignificance compared to that. Mm. Oh, how rude. Well, it looks like we're a bit of a stalemate then, doesn't it? Anyone got any suggestions? It can't be. It can't be. Can it? Sit down. Stay calm. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it is. Oh. Hello, old friend. We found him. The internet's going to break over this one. No, whoa, no whoa, whoa, is, whoa, 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 whoa. I think he's just clocked who's in the audience. And someone... That's a belt. That's a leather belt. Oh! Really? He lost the match. Somebody needs to get that belt off him and get him out of here now. Really? Now he's got him in the camel clutch. What? What's, wait. What's, what's happening? What is she doing in the ring? She's not on his side, surely. What? I'm, I'm confused. That's... That makes two of us. The Lord of War had him in the camel clutch, and Laura. I don't. This is making my head hurt. Is this a reconciliation? I, I don't know what it is. I didn't even know she was here till just now. I'm kind of. I'd say that's a reconciliation. Well, that's when you know it's serious in World War Wrestling, don't you? It's Laura Butler and the Italian Stallion, Rocco! Oh, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to introduce to you to the current number one contender to the World War Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, the anti-social Ash Draven. <laughs> Draven. Now I understand that you are on somewhat of a beast hunt as of course the current reigning and defending World War Wrestling heavyweight champion the War Beast Will Cruz who is not here at this present time but you are next in line for that championship there's no doubt about it and there's, you're on some sort of a beast hunt at the moment but just one question I need to ask you was you know what was the need for you know getting involved in the hit sets business last last week on our episode First of all, Jake, I'm going to correct you on one thing. Mr. Cruz is the reigning World War Wrestling Champion, not the defending World War Wrestling Champion, because if he was, he'd be here, wouldn't he? And in terms of the hit set, well, I'm the number one ranked challenger, Jake, and they are the second best tag team in World War Wrestling. So who, who outranks who, Jake? You've known me a long time, probably longer than anybody else in wrestling. And you know that in an environment just like this, I caused a revolution. I took a promotion from the underground and thrust it into the spotlight. And along the way, I've upset more people than I dare to count. And the hit set, well, they're just another number. But back to Mr. Cruz, you're right, the hunt carries on. The mission statement is the same, whether he's here or not. I will skin the war beast, I will take his championship, and finally, once and for all, the war zone will be a happy place. Smile, Jake. <laughs>